Welcome well, to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. You remember, uh, remember uh, Pepsi Clear, Coke Clear, that whole thing? Yeah. Is this Whiskey Clear? No, it's actually new make, like unaged spirit. Oh. Oh, but Maker's Mark though. That's right, and oh. it's a gift from Chris Smallwood. Chris Smallwood, you magnificent. Master. <laughs> Okay. So this is the new make yeah. of Maker's Mark. So you can get this yeah. uh, at the distillery. Yeah. And this is kind of cool, I think, because I'm always, always interested in comparing before it goes into a barrel. Sure. Yes. What we get to drink. What does the barrel Everybody knows Maker's Mark. What does the barrel deliver? And then what is the actual spirit yeah. deliver? Yeah. So everybody knows Maker's Mark. It's one of the more ordered things in any place that you can go in a restaurant. This is a weeded bourbon, right? 16% wheat instead of rye. Yeah. So corn, wheat, barley. Mm -hmm. Does it smell like new make? You know what it smells like to me? Grapes. Grapes? Grapes. Get in there. I think grapes. Huh. I was eating grapes last night at like 2 in the morning. The red Because I was still hungry. Really ripe red grapes. I don't know if I'm getting grapes. No, you're wrong. You're tasting it wrong. I'm getting... The definite funk of new make, well, that like musty no, corn funk. It's, it's new make. I've never yeah, yeah, not yeah. had that in new make. Talking about the, uh, well, let's spend some time there. The thing that you often find in new make, it is sweet, grainy, and a, little, and a little funky. A little funky, a little sour almost. Sometimes. It, yeah. it would fit the word pungent. Yeah. Like the word pungent was designed. It's very lively. Now, for new make. Now that being said, right, that may be coming uh, from most of the new makes we have. They're not necessarily bothering bothering to water oh, words. They're not necessarily bothering to water it down to forty percent ABV. Right. Um, it's usually a little bit higher. This is forty five percent, so they took it down a little. Is right. this going to be the same proof as the Maker's Mark? Mm. That'd be interesting if we got the same proof and forty five percent. Ah, perfect. So, oh, taste it. The taste is. Way more dry funk than sweet. Wow. I would have expected more sweet sugar on this. Especially considering that Maker's Mark is one of your sweeter whiskeys. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I actually like that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I bet it would go really interesting in a cocktail. Agricultural, grainy, granola almost vibe there. Sugary sweetness on top of that. And then it's just really thick and viscous feeling. Yeah, the nose is far more pungent. The taste is not rich or funky at all. The taste is just kind of nice and pretty and a little bit of slight yeah. must in the nose still. You come back to the nose, it gets even more grain heavy like granola. Mm. Oh, man, the wood. American New Oak. That's what that is right there. Do we know how long they age Maker's Mark for the regular release? No. No, we don't. I would venture oh, a guess that man. somewhere in the six to eight range, but it's a that's a totally made up number. That's a really nice nose, though. It's beautiful. And see, there's a reason that when you go to a bar, if they don't have a huge diversity or they don't know what they're doing, right. if you see Maker's Mark, right. it's like it's up there with Woodford and these ones where it's just like, I want a nicer bourbon. Oh, you got Maker's? Fine, I'll have Maker's. It's like vanilla ice cream and cherry cordials in there. Although I discovered that Southwest Airlines last weekend is now carrying wild turkey bourbon. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh, right. I mean, maybe they always were, but. You know what, one reason why I think this is so iconic, beyond it's just uh, unique, and they legally defend this color right. and the thing, they they do left and right. If you, you know, if everybody tries to do that, it doesn't happen long before they're coming after them. But I think the way Maker's Mark tastes, mm -hmm. is kind of like the way this looks. Yeah, like just that red and the this butter sherries and it's just dripping down. Yes, yeah. thick and yeah. I agree. Oh. Now coming back to this honey and cherries, the aftertaste of the bourbon in my mouth Wait, made on, this more on. interesting. Honey and the cherries and the brown mm -hmm. sugar, a little bit of oak. It's just good, classic, well balanced presentation. Add some water to the new make, even wild though it's already and, forty-five. Wild turkey and Maker's Mark, man. I think they've been killing it for so long, so long because it's just a really nicely balanced mm -hmm. bottle of whiskey. Oh, weird. It got bitey and then bland at the same time. It did. The, That's all the, weird. The sweet layers just compressed into like a general little bit of a sugary. Yeah, and yeah. then it got that like alcohol bitey. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Huh. Did we did we have water to this? No, no. We just let the Maker's Mark alone. Okay. So let's add. That's our recovery glass. That's that. Well, I want to see a little bit of water in there. Just, just a little touch. Maybe add some more whiskey. Good on you. There you go. You know what you're doing. Well, it tasted like Dr. Pepper there for a second. What? 
Dr. Pepper. Yeah, the sweetness uh, of Dr. Pepper. Brandon Knight, when will the remembrance flags go up? I just finished the uh, st solving the peg loop problem. Yeah. And I got in all the eyelets for us to stamp all the ones that were done at the Bastards Ball. Yes. And I've got Joe working on how we're going to hang them and attach them and to the story. Spe specifically, <laughs> Uh, if you'll remember the, the catalyst for this whole thing, mm -hmm. there was an MB who his family, unfortunately, they lost a daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, and that kind of sparked this. this uh, let's have um, you know a symbol of uh, a way to honor our loved ones and then also celebrate milestones. We'll talk about more mm -hmm. that more in the future. Uh, here's the thing. Um, I just got off a messenger with him, I think it was two days ago. Mm -hmm. He says, hey, man, the thing you send me to sign in the mail, I finally got that. His neighbor had gotten delivery of something. We need him to sign this thing so oh. we can put it, like, so long ago. <laughs> and it was so long ago. And uh, eventually they like, oh yeah, I've had this thing for a while. So everybody has been waiting on this thing. Yeah. This asset neighbor just casually, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got this package for you. My house. So that's now on ago. the way, that's now on the way. We're gonna do an episode on the Whiskey Tribe about that. I think we're gonna do it around Whiskey toast. Toasts, yeah. Whiskey Toasts, and we're gonna be unveiling that at the same time. Sweet. And then giving people a way to um, send in their own way to uh, honor the, the particularly magnificent people in their life mm -hmm. who is no longer with us, and then also uh, celebrate some milestones out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Ken Robin, Mork Use Latrum. We're gonna go with Ken. <laughs> How tall are you guys exactly? Ah! Okay. All right, you got your lifts on today? I got my cowboy boots on. So that's a yes, that's... Let's see, uh... And I, I'm in my socks. Curious about all the Hobbit jokes. If I ever visit Texas in the future at some point and realize that I too am a Hobbit. Wait. Yeah. All right, hold still. We're solving this once and for all. I'm gonna get super tall. Rex. Measure it from the tip of my. That nah, doesn't count. <laughs> Rex is uh, roughly six four, six three. Shut your hole. No, are you on the? You're on the carpet. Look, you're on the carpet. Here. Oh. I'm not that tall. Okay. Well, here, set uh, set something level on your head. This took a weird turn. Yeah, it did. we're measuring each other now. I'm six Just height. I'm six two, man. Just height. Yeah. Let's hold that level on your head like Emily Post book. You're not your sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, six two. Yeah. All right, and I think I am. Um, well, you have a bald head. I don't need that. That's true. Here, no boots. I think I'm I'm like five eight. That's let me see here. Four foot seven. Uh, you are. <laughs> Oh, that's that's interesting. Uh oh. You're tickling the sixty nine. What is that? That's, I'm almost five foot nine. You're just tickling the. I've been telling people five eight for mm -hmm. my whole for as long as I've been an adult. Those are really thick socks. Though. I'm actually taller than that. It's really thick socks. My driver's license says five eight. Those socks. Those are like. <laughs> it's kind of like if Crocs made socks. I'm almost five nine. It's a foam padding. Is it possible that I'm still growing? <laughs> <laughs> There's a Benjamin Button scenario in here somewhere. Because you were, we've established this. Yeah. You were born an old man. Yeah. Right? I am reversing, yeah. yeah fair enough. So try that one with the water. It's had time to sit now. Well, I'm tempted to measure more things now that we have the tape. <laughs> Is that what you were thinking? Yeah. Something totally appropriate? Uh, not feeling it with water, man. I like it as is, right out of the bottle. I think they picked a really good proof. Oh yeah! You lose a lot of those nicer, sweeter layers that were interacting and complementing each other really well. And it well. gets bitey too. It gets a little bitey, you also get a little bit of that barrel bitter ding on the end there. Mm -hmm. But, I noticed you took that class, is what happened. There's the fighting, stealing and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.